top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap mail, but the rap in a black man, how you think I made it in the game, it's a rat tail, never made it. Yo guys, what's going on? Tim Purcell, welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make an animated lower third in uh, Photoshop and After Effects. It's really easy to do and it's going to be glowing. Uh, it's Yeah, it just looks really good. There's probably an example on the screen right now, if that's there is. So yeah, that's what we'll be making in today's video. So if you do enjoy it, make sure you hit the like button down below. Can we break 100 likes on this video? And if we do, I'll release a free template to this down below in the description. Uh, let me know what videos you'd like to see from me next on the channel. You know I'm always reading the comments, guys. Also, subscribe if you are new. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm trying to stream um, as much as possible uh, over the next few weeks and stuff. And also, I'm going to be uploading every other day. Um, so, yeah, guys, you don't want to miss any of my videos. And with that all being said, let's get on into it. Right, guys, so we're here in After Effects. So, basically, this is what we're going to be making. I'll just show you really quickly. It comes in and then it starts to glow. It's really easy to do. I'm not going to show you guys how to make the actual image itself. You guys can just do that in Photoshop. It's simple. Just get um, a little box or it doesn't matter what shape it is and just put uh, some, some text in it that says make sure to subscribe or hit the like button. Anything like that. As long as it's telling your subscribers something to do. Um, and yeah, simple background as well. It's just some colours. Um, and yeah. This is what I'll be showing you guys how to make. It looks really good. I'm definitely going to start using it in my videos as well. Um, so the first thing you want to do is just go to file. In fact, let me just save this really quickly. Um, save as. Uh, I'll just... Random numbers. <laughs> um, file, new project, new composition. And I'll be doing 128 by 720 You guys can do 1920 by 1080 Depends what size image you created. So the first thing, just go to File, Import, and you need to import the image of the subscribe low, uh, the lower third. So let's just bring that in. Um, so let me just zoom out a bit. So what I want it to do is I want it to come in from the side. So I want it to finish right there. That's where I want it to finish. So what you want to do is just press on this right here, press P and add a keyframe so it finishes there then go right back to the in fact no sorry i said i did that wrong um, you want to just zoom in on the timeline a little bit Let me just move this along yeah zoom in on the timeline a little bit like so and i want it to at about one second i want it to finish there so i'm going to go back to zero and then using this one on the left, move it to the left, click and drag, so it's out of this scene, like so. So it should look like that. Next, just highlight them both, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. So it should come in like that. But that's quite quick for me, so I'm just going to increase it a little bit. And also if you highlight them both and go press this, the graph editor, what you want to do is just zoom in a little bit and move this one on the right to the right a bit, like so. So it comes in quite fast and then slows down, like so. So that looks really, really clean. As well as that, I want it to fade in, so I'm just going to press the arrow, go to opacity, uh, start off at zero. Add a keyframe, and then when it finishes, bring it back up to 100. So now it should look like this. So it fades in from the left. <clears throat> now we're going to add the glow to it. So you want to just right click, go to New, uh, Solid, and then press OK. And then go to Effects and Presets and type in Saber. Um, you guys will have to download this. I'll put a link in the description. It's free. So yeah, just download this. It's called Saber. And you just want to drag it onto the black solid. And you get this line right here. Um, next, you just want to go to um, Render Settings. And go to Composition Settings, Transparent. And then, let's just close that. Then you want to go to the Pen Tool and just... Um, go around your shape with the pen tool so let me just zoom in a bit pen tool and then I'm just gonna click here there 
hold down shift to create a straight line, click. Very simple stuff. Um, and now you want to go to customize core and then go to layer mask and it looks like this very bright then you want to go to preset at the top select haze and now you get that and that looks insane already and then you just want to mess about with some of these settings I'm going to bring the glow intensity down a bit because it's quite bright and also the core size a little bit like so so once you have done that um, go to the point where you want the glow to appear so I'm just gonna go to transform go down to opacity and you want to bring down the opacity all the way and add a keyframe and then move a little bit to the right and then bring it back up so it should fade in from 0 to 100 like so it should fade in so it should look like that so if we just zoom out This is what we have got now. One second, let me just get rid of this. It comes in and then it starts to glow. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Very simple stuff, it comes in and it starts to glow. And yeah, it gets people's, it catches the eye of your viewers and people look at it and do what it says, hopefully. Hopefully you guys do it too, make sure you subscribe. But uh, once you've done that, you just wanna go to file and then um, you wanna export it. Uh, I, oops, I don't think, nope, I pressed the wrong thing. You guys just want to export it as a PNG. Um, it needs to be alpha, alpha RGB. Um, and that basically means it's a transparent background. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do want to see more things like this, animated tutorials on After Effects, then let me know down below. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, as it says there. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And with that all being said, I hope you're having a sick day today and I'll see you in the next video.